Hey everyone, Richard Metal Fan here. Um, bringing you guys a, 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 a new video, and I'm gonna be actually be doing a, a double concert review uh, because I went to two shows back to back. Well, Wednesday and yesterday day. Um, you have to bear with me. I'm kind of a little bit tired right now, so we're gonna let's talk about the first show I went to on April 10th. Uh, and I went up to Charleston, South Carolina to see Cradle of Filth, Wednesday 13, and Raven Black. Now, I got up really fucking early that that morning. I got up at like 3 a.m. because so I can have, get myself together. And I was drove up from here to my buddy Zach, who lives up in Cumming, which is like an hour away. And from there, we headed over to Charleston in South Carolina, I know, which took about five hours. Um, and we remember we got there probably around 11-ish. Um, and, uh, the, yeah, the, yeah, there was, like, we stayed at, like, a Hyatt Inn, which is, a, a, the hotel is literally right around the corner from the venue, and we actually, there was actually, like, a big pizza place, which I had this huge-ass pizza, <laughs> and there was also a, a Starbucks nearby, because, and actually, right before the show, I was gonna, I was actually good friends with their, key, with Cradle Fields keyboard player, Lindsay Schoolcraft, she's a good friend of mine, and we actually got to meet up and do a, a had some coffee and stuff and chatted a little bit but really she's really nice i'm glad i'm friends with her her and she's actually going to be in a little blog a vlog thing which i've which we have actually done she actually is going to do a, a video intro for that vlog so be on the lookout for that i think this will probably be up before then before this video or after this video is done i don't know and then we hung out had some coffee and i actually got in vip to meet cradle filth now this was they were pretty sweet. Um, yeah, and the VIP was cool. I had actually got in. I'll show these for you guys. Yes, I got in a uh, signed set list by the whole band. The, the band is pretty much the set list that they've been playing for this tour. If any, if you are going to the remaining dates, oh, I don't know. Like the last date's the 18th or something. I don't know. They signed that, and also got the signed poster, which is cool. And I have two signed Cradle of Filth posters. And I had also had the, them sign uh, uh, my vinyls of uh, Cryptoriana, The Sick Death and This and Decay, and Hammer of the Witches. I remember after the show, I had uh, only Martin and Danny sign uh, my vinyl of Gods Beyond the Devil's Thunder, since well, they're the only two members that are on the album that are still in the band. And then that was pretty cool. Um, and then we'll talk about like the first act, Raven Black, which my, my friend Zach was kind of stoked for. Stoked for, and I thought mm, they're okay. Um, and uh, then we get to uh, Wednesday Thirteen, which I mean, I I mean I was sort of familiar with some of his stuff, just some very good horror punk. And yeah, I don't know. Now Cradle of Filth has some very interesting support acts for each of their tours, tours whenever they tour here in the states. Hey, it's, and then. I was, but I was more excited for the headliners, Cradle of Filth. Now, this was my third time seeing Cradle of Filth in like the, the three years I've seen them live. Um, and they, I, right away, their set list is kind of similar to when I saw them last year at the Buckhead Theater in Atlanta. I mean, they've only changed up a couple songs. Like, they actually opened up with Gilded Cunt. Um, they play, played some, uh, a couple newer songs. They played, I believe, Heartbreak and Seance, uh, Whisper Vestertine. Teen, Death and the Maiden, You Will not Know the Lion by His Claw. And I was surprised. They actually played a right wing of the Garden Trip Dick from Hammer of the Witches. And they played some other classic stuff like Nymphetamine Fix. Um, and they actually played Bathory Area again, again, which is like 11 minutes long. And I, I remember they actually had closed with Her Ghost in the Fog, which in my opinion is probably my favorite Cradle of Filth song. So yeah, it was pretty cool. And, you know, I was actually hanging around after the show because I wanted to hang with see Cradle again before they put it up and I actually had Cradle had signed my ticket for the show which is pretty cool well they're all like really really down there with nice people if they, whenever they come back to the states I want to hang with them especially I want to hang with Lindsay Lindsay and Lindsay if you're watching this just thank you for being awesome so yeah and then we'll talk about the show I went to last night but also oh yeah forget about that don't forget to give give the Cradle show score if I'm gonna give this probably a solid eight out of ten and i mean they the support acts were all right but i was just more excited to see my cradle homies i'm friends with them and i'm also good buddies with that ashok their guitar player and their drummer martin they're all like they're also good good homies of mine 
but yeah, but let's talk about the now now this now after that we'll talk about the next show I went to yet, which was last night at the Masquerade in Atlanta, Georgia. And last night I saw Children of Bodom, Swallow the Sun, and Wolfheart. Now this is actually both sec the second time seeing both Children of Bodom and Swallow the Sun, and they were really really good. Good. And this is actually my first time was my first time ever seeing Swallow the Sun. I was really looking forward to them seeing the most. And I've pretty much also gotten VIP to meet Bodum as well. I remember before the show that I, Alexi Leahy was going to do like a guitar clinic meet and greet at a Sam Ash, Ash, but that got canceled for some bullshit, but whatever. Um, the VIP was, eh, it was all right. Um, I got a couple things signed from the, got from the VIP. I'll showcase this one right here, here, which is this cool... Who I'll have to pull back this children of this poster flag I got of the new album Hexed, which is pretty cool. Cool, I'll show you that. And I have a poster which is as you know I can see it is signed by the band. And I have this uh, USB po USB thing, being which actually has like studio footage or something which I haven't even looked at yet. So yeah, and I actually got in a uh, new vinyl yesterday for them to sign. Which of course I also got the new album, Hex on vinyl. Well, let's see this signed by the band, and it's a, and this vinyl is a uh, purple vinyl. I haven't bought vinyl at one point, so I I don't know when I'm gonna do a next another CD and vinyl update. So be on the lookout for that. And met Bodum. The only shitty thing, it the only little gripe I had about the meet and greet was I would they they, didn't, they had everybody take like a group photo, but they didn't have like individual ones with the band, which I thought was kind of lame. But yeah, let's just dive right into the show. The show itself was pretty good. Um, I'll just start with Wolfheart. Now, this was my second time seeing Wolfheart. I mean, I saw them on their very first US tour last uh, October with Karak Ongren and Moore's Principia Mest, and they were really good. Uh, like, I've just, they were like one of those new, newer bands I recently discovered that I pretty much love. Um, yeah, they just played some really great songs. Um, and yeah, I think they're, if I don't, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of blown away. Like, but Wolfheart was just really amazing. Um, then we go into Swallow the Sun, which I was looking forward to the most. They played, they played, like their music is just very, just felt like very soothing, sort of like the calm before the storm before Children of Bodom played. Um, like and they played some stuff, more stuff from their new album. They played and they played the obvious old stuff like New Moon and stuff, and it was great, great. And then. We get to the headliners, Children of Bodom, and they were pretty cool. I remember they opened up with "Are You Dead Yet?" They played a couple, full older stuff. It was mostly like stuff from like the last couple albums. They played, obviously, played some new stuff like, like they played "This Road," "Under Glass and Clover," "Hecate's Nightmare," um, yeah, "Platitudes" and "Barren Words," I believe. If um, I think they played one song from "I Worship Chaos," which is the title track. Um, they played a couple other songs like Bodum. I was stoked when they played Bodum Beach Terror. Um, I was kind of hoping they would play more older shit from when I last saw them like three years ago. And I think they played, uh, uh, I think, fuck who else? If You Want Peace, Prepare for War. Um, and they played Hate Me, which was like their encore. And they closed with Downfall. Now, overall, Bodum was pretty good. But, so if I were to give last night's it's a show a score, I definitely would give this like. Uh, probably a uh, an another eight point five, maybe a nine out of ten. So if those are my reviews of both of those shows. If any of them hit your area, I would recommend just going to that, especially like Cradle. But yeah, definitely Bodum if you're a fan of Bodum. So yeah, those those are my reviews of the concert reviews, and thank you guys for watching. And also be on the lookout for my vlog from to Charleston, South Carolina, which also will feature Lindsay Schoolcraft from Cradle of Filth. So. Oh, to be on the lookout for that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next video, and keep it metal.